this screencast is going to teach you how to play the factor game, which is one of the games that we play in our first unit prime time to help us understand the idea of factors. So let's go ahead and review the directions for the factor game, and then we're going to actually play a quick game together so that you can kind of see how this works. So you'll see that player A chooses a number on the game board and circles it. Using a different color, player B circles all the proper factors of player A's number. Proper factors are factors of a number that are not including, or that's not including the number itself. And we'll look at some examples of that when we start playing the game. Then it's player B's turn. So player B would circle a number, and player A would circle all of the factors of the new number. The most important rules are more towards the end. So it says the players take turns choosing numbers and circling factors. If a player chooses a number with no uncircled factors, that player loses their current turn and scores no points because there are no factors for that number. So that's when you have to get kind of careful with what numbers you're choosing. The game ends when there are no numbers left with uncircled factors. So even if you have numbers left on the board, you might still not be able to use those numbers because there's not going to be any factors left for them. Each player adds the numbers circled with his or her color, and the player with a greater total wins. So those are our directions. So just take another few seconds to reread those directions, and then we're going to actually play a game. So this is the online version of the factor game. Unfortunately, we don't have access to this online for every single one of you to play. So we are going to have paper game boards and use colored pencils, but this is going to get the idea across. So I'm going to be player one. And then I'm going, so my first move is to pick a number. So I'm going to pick the number 17. And then player two would think about the number 17 and what numbers can I circle or what numbers are factors of 17. So if I think about it, 17 is a, what we call a prime number because it only has the factors of one and itself. So the only number that player two could circle, or in this case turn green, is number one. And that's it. So now it's player two's turn to pick a number. So player two picks the number 22. Now it's my turn, being player one, to pick all of the factors of 22. So if I think about it, one is already taken, because one times 22. Because 22 is even, that means that the number 2 times 11 gets me to 22. And that are, those are the only factors of 22 that I can possibly choose. Now it's my turn again to pick another number. So I'm going to look up here, and I'm going to pick the number 25. If I think about the factors of 25, I have 1 and 25, and then 5 times 5. So the only factor that player 2 could pick would be the number 5. Notice the strategies that I'm using while we're playing this game. So we're going to do one more round, and then I'll, we'll let you guys try and play this. So player two is going to pick a number. Player two is going to pick the number 13. But see how now it says there are no available factors of 13. You lost your turn. Press OK to continue, because 13 is a prime number, and 1 has already been used. So I'm going to click OK. Now it's my turn again. I'm going to click 24. Well, I know 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, and then the rest of them are already taken. So I'm going to click OK. And notice that because I, player 1, chose 24, player 2 is catching me because of how many open factors there were on the game board. So once again, your directions for the factor game are on the screen. You'll also have them in front of you so that you can refer to them as you play. You can also ask your teacher as you play so that you're making sure that you're playing correctly. Have fun!